Welcome back to Silent Hill. The last thing we did is visit the room of that business person who we met. I think we met them a little while ago, but most recently we met them at the bar. Annie's bar, I think it was. We saved their life and found out that in the struggle they dropped a receipt and the key to their room. So we just visited the room. Now I'm checking out the receipt. Got a little bit of a lead on that. That's the map, not my inventory. The receipt has a number on it. I don't know what the number is for exactly, however. If you look closer at the receipt, you can see it says Indian Runner on it. Which is this building right here. I came here before, but I don't think I explored it too thoroughly. Let's explore it again. Maybe the password's to the place. Ooh, that looks like a keypad, actually. Oh, well, not a keypad, but yeah. That works. Okay. 0473. I love the noise it makes when you're switching him. That is extraordinarily noisy, though. Like, I'd be a little bit worried that there's something wrong with it. Is a drawer, do you want to open it? Yes. Ah. Safe key. Take it, yes. Have I seen a safe? Oh. It's probably for this safe. What is this? Drugs? Gotta get this to Sybil Shepherd right away so they can catch these drug dealers and stop the darkness swallowing this town. So, that's it, huh? There's nothing to actually get from there? Strange. Well, okay, if that is actually drugs, does that mean this place is actually where the drugs in Silent Hill have been dealt from? Because I remember Sybil Shepherd is absolutely ridiculous as their whole idea that it's drug uh, drugs causing some of this. As absurd as it is, they did also mention that they could never find exactly who was dealing the drugs in Silent Hill, no matter how hard they looked. Could this be the distribution point? Not that it matters. I mean, really, what doesn't matter? Norman's grand opening. Three loaves of bread, three cartons of milk, two dozens, dozen eggs. Deliver to back? Backdoor dairy, 8 a.m. Rear entrance code 0885. Norman Young. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this. Got it. And wait, did I say dairy before? It's backdoor daily. Rear entrance code. The rear entrance to this place, right? So... Who is this person? I mean... They sort of look like that person we met, the business person, but it's so hard to tell. Norman's grand opening, and picture of the motel in the background. Yeah, the something something in. But then why is all this stuff here about Norman? If Norman's place is like a... 
Maybe Norman owned the inn and the Indian runner. Oh, I thought this was a save point. It's a log. August 20th. He came by. I handed over the package that the woman left here. September 12th. He showed up at Norman's, too. Don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore, but... Getting creeped out even more than before. I thought of leaving town, but I'm afraid of what will happen if I do. Yeah, so they were involved in some... Some stuff. Hand over the package that the woman left here. Who is the woman? So it sounds like they don't really want to be distributing whatever it is they're distributing. But they're just being left packages to then hand over to other people. He showed up at Norman's too. Can I do anything with this now? No. Nope. Can I like... I don't know, take a sample of these things <laughs> in the bottle or something? I feel like there's something I've got to do with it, right? I don't have anything on me right now, though. Here, maybe leave a bloody VH to VHS tape inside of the, the safe and then it'll be even more incriminating. Drugs and a bloody tape. This place has been completely ransacked. Let's see if there's a back entrance here. Alright, this is a dead end, right? I think I came here before. Hmm. Okay, so the back entrance deliver stuff to that I have the code for is not there, so maybe it's the inn? I don't know, it could be any damn place. But I'm, I think I'm going to try the inn first. Ah, yeah, so this is, I guess, the back entrance to the inn, I think. It looks like there's a pad right there. 0886. Newspaper. It's the same date as the one in the hospital. Investigation stalled. PTV dealers still at large. Suspicious deaths continue like the like the anti-drug mayor, a narcotics officer dies of a sudden heart failure of unknown origin. I didn't expect drugs to be such a big topic in Silent Hill. When I think of Silent Hill, I don't think of drugs at all. Is this something I focus on in the future, Silent Hills? Because I feel like it really isn't. So it sounds like anybody who's really tried to, like, posed any real danger to the drug trade in town has been mysteriously killed. The anti-drug mayor, narcotics officer. What is PTV as a drug? Is that like a real drug or some made up thing? A magnet? A magnet? Take it, yes. I know exactly what to use that for. The key in the hotel room. Poster's on the wall. Don't look at that now, though. <laughs> Just because it's a poster and it's wasting their time, or because it's... I, I think it's a pin-up poster? Hard to tell. Radio on top of the cabinet. It's completely dead. Maybe it's broken. September 10th. Took package. Told to sit on it a while. Don't want to get involved, but can't disobey. He's probably linked to the death of the mayor and others. 
Yeah, so people here were being used as, as pawns. Not wanting to be used for whatever drug stuff was going on in this town. See that little rip in the carpet? I feel like there's something hidden in there. But I can't use it, so I guess there isn't. A TV set. Power must be out. It doesn't work. I was just thinking, I haven't had a save point in forever. There's one. Guest register. Nothing special written here. Vending machine. Doesn't work. Let's unlock this. I don't think that motorcycle's going anywhere. Old motorcycle. Looks like it's been sitting here for years. That's weird. The dust is wiped away just around the gas tank cap. Huh. So there might be fuel in it? I do have a bottle, but I need, like, a tube or something. Batteries, oil cans, other items line the shelves. Fine layer of dust covers everything, as if long abandoned. Save and then go get that key from the room with the magnet. Hold on, I should probably go this way, right? Take me right into the, like right next to where the rooms are. Instead of having to go all the way around and maybe encountering enemies. Should take me to the parking lot. Yeah. Motorcycle key. Okay. I don't really see how that's going to help me. Uh, surely the thing's not going to start, right? glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? It's like the busted vial I found in the director's office at the hospital. The one that somebody was searching for and smashed. I remember that. I remember how the liquid was deep, deep red. It looked like blood. Give me that! What is this? That's none of your business. 
instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? Hmm. You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. Got it? Guy's gotta be involved in the local drug racket. Man, was he pissed, and in such a rush, too. That was probably dope in the bottle. Anyway, better let him do as he pleases. There's more than, than my life at stake. Guess I wasted my time. Better hurry, I'm worried about Cheryl. That couldn't have actually been a waste of time, though, right? What do I do now? I haven't gained anything new. I guess it's time to finally check out Sanford Street, which I've actually never explored. Yeah. All right, let's go. This is Sanford Street, right? Yes. Nope, 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 nope. I know you're excited to play, but I'm sorry, I got business. Oh, there's always supplies down here in these areas. Yes. different, rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare. This is more like reality becoming a nightmare. I don't like this feeling, like something bad will happen. No doubt something terrible is going on. Yeah, that's for sure. I wonder if this would have happened if I hadn't done all that other stuff. go. Okay, just went by East Garage, going by West Garage now. Probably gonna end up having to go towards the lighthouse on the docks, but let's save that, I guess. Let's see if this is even open, though. The other pathways back here are... Or the other pathway that I tried back here is blocked. Ah! 
Is this a power cable? Or something? Or just a bent pipe? Pretty good amount of ammo, actually. 13 shots. And 12 shotgun shots, no pistol ammo. Not great, but not terrible. So you can get to the other side. What is that out there? It's not even on the map, I don't know. Where the hell am I exactly? I'm behind the west garage, right? Yeah. Let's go around to the front of it. Damn it. I'm orange. Let's take a health drink. Eight shots left. Oh, it takes two. So I haven't been missing my shot occasionally. I've actually just needed to shoot them twice. Is that one of those symbols behind these barrels? Ritualistic symbols. Yeah, there's some more. There's nothing really marked on the map here. I mean, there's some rectangles, which I guess are buildings, but they don't have any names. Just a real creepy place. I think that's all it is. I 
yeah. Alright, let's go down the pier. Or actually, it's not the pier, just the dock itself. The pier is the place on land right next to the water, right? Switch to my shotgun for now. Only got two shots of this thing left. Jesus Christ. Sybil. Harry. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? Yeah. I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy, and I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town, it's being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading, trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. Harry, this whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... The demon is awakening, spreading those wings! Dahlia Gillespie. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die! So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon! The demon! The demon taking that child's form! Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. 
But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. You will need to use it. Use what? The Flowers. Only with that can you stop it. What about Sybil? Disappears mysteriously again. They can never just leave a room normally. I think if they want us to save the world, they could answer a few more questions. So Dahlia said I need to kill the demon, the demon taking that child's form. Cheryl? So the demon is, well, looks like Cheryl? Or Alessa? I don't know, I, I don't think I'd call Alessa a child. They didn't seem that young. I'm glad I don't have to go to the amusement park. At least, yet. I'm probably gonna meet them after going to the lighthouse, what do you bet? Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna head over to the lighthouse.